Joining me now is Australia's former Foreign Minister, Alexander Downer. Alexander, great to talk to you again. You've got a happy knack of playing your way into every major global story. I've been reading that you've been advising Rishi Sunak behind the scenes. Uh, well, I know Rishi Sunak quite well from um, my time as the High Commissioner when we uh, at Australia House singled him out as one of the rising stars of the British Conservative Party. So um, got to know him that way. Um, and I did help him a little bit during his previous campaign for the leadership during the British summer, during the Australian winter, uh, when I did some work for him on his immigration policy. But, um, you know, everyone claims to know somebody who's successful. And <laughs> yes. Nobody claims to know those who have failed. I knew Liz Trust quite well, or know Liz Trust quite well as well. Oh, well, tell us about Rishi Sunak then. We know he's uh, very smart, been very successful, that uh, his parents were immigrants who, who, who made, have made a very successful life in the UK. He's obviously not in politics uh, for money. Uh, what do you think drives him and how successful could he be? Well, I think he's um, one of those people who uh, focuses very much on policy. It's going to, uh, going to, we're going to see how good he is at politics, of course, but he focuses very much on policy. You know, he's intellectually very smart. He understands policy issues. Um, importantly, he understands economics, not just uh, in an academic sense, but as you say, he's been a very successful businessman as well. So um, at a time uh, when governments, uh, including the British government, have been spending too much money and they have to now start finding ways to save money or if they want to really stifle the economy, increase taxes, um, then you, need to, you do need a leader of the country who's economically literate. So I think that's going to be a great advantage for, for the UK. And tell us about the challenge of, uh, of, of reuniting the government, I suppose. It's been through all these leadership uh, turmoils, uh, incredible run of uh, three prime ministers in, in seven weeks. But uh, as I was discussing uh, yesterday with Mark Neam, the, the fact that they've been through these leadership upheavals over, over the last uh, few months surely would mean that, the, that they, they don't have time for that anymore. They've got to unite behind the new prime minister, don't they, and make sure he's as, as successful as possible in the lead up to uh, the next election? Well, uh, that's true, although the next election isn't it's a long for way two off, years, yeah. but mm. it is a long way off. Uh, but but um, the Conservative Party has taken a huge hit reputationally, um, not just in terms of personnel, but in terms of economic policy. So it will take them all of those two years to rebuild their reputation if they're to have any chance of winning at all. But, I mean, we know from the Australian experience that leadership changes leave a legacy of bitterness. Um, and they've had two leadership changes. They threw out Boris Johnson and then, obviously, this trust wasn't up to the job. I personally think they did the right thing to dump her as quickly as possible rather than go on for months and months um, with the agony of this trust as the Prime yep. Minister. But even so, I mean, she had her fans and supporters, so... They're not too happy. And what was your most important bit of advice for Rishi Sunak uh, as he's uh, taking on the leadership? Yeah, the advice I always give people is uh, who are in politics, work out what you think is the right thing to do and then, secondly, think about how you're going to sell it to the public and never underestimate the intelligence of the public. If you explain to the public why you have to do difficult and seemingly not very popular things many of them will be sympathetic and supportive as you make those really difficult changes. And he has to cut spending, and that's never very popular. But if the public have it explained to them that the alternative is higher inflation and higher interest rates, um, you know, my advice is that they will understand that. Yep. Well said. Policy and the right decisions first, politics second, I suppose. Thanks for joining us, Alexander. It's a pleasure, Chris. Alexander Downer there, inside running on the new Prime Minister of the UK, Rishi Sunak. We'll see how he takes control of that government and uh, in the run-up, a two-year run-up to the next election now.